Bonjour! Hi! Welcome to this new video of Cloud in 5 Minutes. I'm Frank Boucher, Microsoft Cloud Advocate based in Canada. And today I want to show you a simple way to clean up your subscription automatically. It happened to all of us. You create some resources and then you forget about it. At the end of the month, you receive your invoice and whoops, a big surprise, it's way more expensive than you thought. So in today's demo, what I want to do is show you a simple way to delete automatically expired resources. I say expired with air quote because there's no built-in way to say expired on a resource. The way I will be using is adding a tag expired on and putting a date as a value. Then we'll run a query against that thing and delete all the resources. Let me show you how I did it. So this is a PowerShell script. I use PowerShell, I will explain in a few seconds why. So here I'm running the Azure Graph query and I'm running the query to return all resources that have a tag expire on, you know, older than now. The to date time is one of the operator or function available in the query for Azure Graph. Then I will return all the project ID because that's only what I need, the resource ID to be able to delete a resource. Then I will loop through all those that lists and one by one I will just say a remove AZ resources passing the resource ID. I will force it to be sure that I have no prompt that it's working. And right now, because I'm in demo and I don't want to be uh, at deleting anything by mistakes, I run the what if. Of course, in production, you will remove the what if parameter. What if will execute the comment, but do nothing. To know a little bit more about Azure Graph, you could watch my video I did previously, search like a boss, or go to bit.ly slash az graph. There you have a lot of documentation to get you started with your first query. So that's perfect. And right now I'm going at a resource level. So if you have a tag, if you have tagged a resource group, they won't show up in that query because unfortunately Azure Graph doesn't manage or doesn't see the, the resource group. Good for us because this way, if you want to delete all the resources inside a resource group, except let's say a storage to keep backups or things like that, then it will be possible. Unfortunately for us, if you delete all the resources inside a resource group, then you're left with an empty resource group. So we need a little bit more gymnastics or, you know, a little bit more code to delete all those. So the way to do it is to ask for all the resource group and then we'll loop through them, check if there's one or more child in it. And if it's empty, then we'll delete it. Say again, remove a Z resource group, passing the name force as a parameter so we don't we avoid pop-ups and then i'm still running the what if again if you're in production if you really want that tool to be working you will need to remove the what if so that's great so this is the code we want to run every let's say every morning five o'clock in the morning we want to run and clean our resources in azure there's many way to execute code based on a schedule you could use function logic app and automation Today I will show you automation and will execute this PowerShell script. Oh, talking about that, the reason why I picked PowerShell is just natively PowerShell will be able to manage the JSON result returned by Azure Graph Query. That's why. Otherwise, I needed to import more module to manipulate the, the answer. That's it. Now let's go in our Azure portal to create our automation. To create the automation, you will click the big plus button here and you search for automation, there it is. So we will create one, give it a name. Then my subscription, I will select my cloud five minutes group, perfect ECS. An important note here is to create this, create Azure run as an account. It will give us the permission to execute code and read through the subscription because we need the code to access the subscription. So this is really important. So we create it. 
the deployment will succeed so let's go to the resource so now to put my code somewhere i need to create a runbook so the runbook will be available here from the left panel i will just click here the runbook and i will create a new one so create a runbook perfect i'll give it a name so subscription cleaner something like that subs the type is important in our case we need powershell but you could run as you can see python graphical like it's different flow and things like that for us right now it's powershell then give it a subscription uh, a description it's important it will thanks me later so now we're we're in this edit edit mode we just need to paste the code that we had previously so here it is and here i put a uh, a little part to use that run account to so to connect with the identity and tenant and everything so our code will be able to access and then it's the code I show you previously just here perfect so now we save it and we'll publish it so now the run book is created we need to add a schedule so it runs every morning great so you could link to a schedule just here and then you click link to a schedule i have no schedule let's create one so give it a name and i will start right tomorrow and i will start at five you know what 503 just to whoops in the morning i said morning so am perfect east time Toronto, and i want it recurring every one day so this is my schedule it will be running every morning at 503 a.m uh, eastern time eastern time toronto uh every day perfect create so now it's created i can associate it and that's it it's done it will be running every morning and keeping my subscription clean all the code will be available in my github all the links are in the description, but it's github slash fboucher slash az subscription cleaner. I also have a blog post where I, de I describe exactly what I did, I did show you if you prefer reading it. In the GitHub project, I'm building right now a deploy to Azure button. So in one click, you could have it deploy in your subscription. Very simply. I'm also working in a version using Azure functions. I hope this video was useful and I hope you liked it. If you have questions, don't hesitate, put in the comment and like usual, like, subscribe and share. It's always very appreciated. See you next time. Bye.